so today I'm going to go through some best combinations of January 2014 and I'm gonna solve them for white this is um, a game by Alexander Modelov, a strong uh, Russian grandmaster and uh, chess coach it's white to move here um, white has an attack against the black king here um, so he's got some pressure on the f and g file, some pressure on f s on g6 so natural shot will be to take on f6, sorry on g6, then knight takes then rook takes, knight takes and is there a follow up to that? looks like there is, so let's try so I'll just hit forward to see black's move and then my intent was to take here and now this king is boxed in so we should capitalize on that so it seems like the move should be well there's a couple of moves to consider I could try maybe e7 hitting that knight but that seems to be going nowhere uh, there's also queen e5 check uh, in addition to queen f6 but queen f6 seems more direct so it's not trivial to choose though so let's try queen f6, king g8 rook to g1 and then he can block on g6 but then I should be able to suck the rook back and just crash through there and possibly win that rook so queen f6 has to be a good move and that is correct the king goes rook g1 the last game enters the the last piece enters into the game and here black resigned uh, presumably because of uh, I'll say white goes rook g1 then knight blocks takes takes back, takes uh, he has to the go he has to go to the corner or else I take the rook and now I imagine just something as simple as bishop to f4 should completely wrap up this game and uh, and the bishop comes to e5 with the with the crushing win uh, so Moving on to the next position, this um, seems like I solved this correctly because I don't really see any possible defense here for black. He's way too down on material, and of course, uh, if the king if the king goes here, well then I just take a rook and I'm up a piece. So this seems so that made sense. Moving on to the next position, white to move here. Uh, same tournament. Uh, here white has a lot of good moves uh, but the rook is under attack at the moment though and um, if the rook goes away then black should be able to consolidate with the uh, rook to c8 and then I don't really see how to uh, you know, push that pawn. It seems like this pawn would become quite vulnerable. Um, sorry, of course, rook is not possible. Never mind. Um, maybe rook d8 then. I don't know. Another idea is to try to push the pawn forward, but of course now the rook hangs. So one thing that we could try is rook takes here and then pawn goes forward. Um, I don't really see how he would stop it, like say let, let's try this. If there's a if that's a wrong move we'll get a prompt. No, this was what was played. Um Pong goes. So now okay, let's see it actually black resigned here. So say if um black actually goes here trying to win this this knight and of course just pawn to c7 and and this wins so there's nothing black can do okay uh white to move here well 
here white could take the spawn but then the knight would come into the game to c4 and to d2 and maybe to uh, would allow black to checkmate us on f1 so that doesn't seem too good I mean even though there's g4 move and all that uh, but this still doesn't seem good so white should try to do something here and now when I think about it there's two options for this really uh, I think a false a false idea maybe it will Black was hoping for is takes uh, takes and then pin, but again we should never forget about the counterplay that um, Black could then create and hit us on f2. So allowing him to get the rook on the f file too early is bad, uh, and therefore we should do something else. But just just for the sake of argument, let me try uh, this, and immediately it tells me that this is a this is a wrong move and I'm gonna give this a, a question mark and the reason why this is bad is because um, this seems very good but then unfortunately <laughs> it just all falls apart here and at the very least here black is not doing badly so so of course the right way to utilize the same idea is to is to play first bishop to e6 and now it turns out that well it's not what he played but if he did take here then this would be immediate checkmate uh, excellent so but then a good question what if black just goes away well, I guess then we just um, continue the attack. So we take here, yeah. And if black takes, uh, if black takes, then we just take with the queen. And how does he avoid mate? Is hard to see. Say he runs, but he can't hide. So I I even the issue isn't as much as that black lost a couple of pawns or well he might lose a d5 pawn. The issue is much more that black is uh, really uh, not able to protect his king because both his knight and his queen are too far away from the king side so that doesn't work so again going through this king h8 we take uh, in the game so let's see what he played in the game in the game he went rook g8 and it seems like white only won a pawn uh, and question then is should he take here I would guess probably not because that would just uh, I mean it, it, it might be still winning but there's probably a better way such as to continue the attack and uh, the only piece that defends this king is the the rook so if we could get to the idea where the bishop uh, and the queen are checkmating the black king we should try to do something like this we should try to exchange this rook. Um, we can try to go rook c7 in there, but the knight guards that square. Um, uh, we can also try to bring our queen closer with something like this. Oh, and that's actually what happened. And uh, what are the threats here? I think for the sake of argument we should uh, show that um, so say here, here well there's two really powerful threats one is this and this is made again uh, mm. this is made and that's enough really uh, I think it's also possible to consider a sacrifice like this and again white's winning in a similar fashion so all in all uh, I've gone through three puzzles uh, three best combinations of January and I'm hoping uh, to make some more of these sh these show you how good are the grandmasters at uh, winning in good positions thanks for watching